Hey Caroline in Lafayette, Louisiana. Matthew here in Durham, North Carolina at freeprescriptionlenses.com and I'm going to show you how I cut a bifocal lens for your Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer color 6012 which is the tortoise beige in the 55 eye size. So let me take everything out of the original packaging as Ray-Ban sends it to me. Your Italian leather Ray-Ban case, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and your Ray-Ban frame. Comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to prevent the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And of course you will receive all the original manufacturer's packaging. But this is the tortoise beige. I actually wear this color a lot. I'm wearing the same frame in a smaller size in the blue rubber which is 811 to match my blue shirt that I got on today. Hang on let me put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. Is the light blinking? Yes it is. We are live. So let me take out your original heavy glass lenses that if you drop them they will shatter and I'm going to install some unbreakable lenses to go in there. But I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my Nexia. This is uh, my first day working with this machine, heavily computerized. When you see my other 305 videos, I'm working with an Italian made Santinelli. This is a French machine. So I'm going to apologize if I go a little slow, but I do not want to mess everything up. But I have activated the tracing element. That little stylus is going to come up and it's going to trace the shape of the right lens before moving over and tracing the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame and you will receive free, clear, single vision prescription lenses. And of course, today all you're paying for is the upgrade to a line style bifocal. That is that. Let me take this out. In just a moment, your shape's going to pull up. And let's type in some measurements. I'm going to put in 31 there. And we're going to go at 16 for your seg height. Let's go over here to the left lens. Type in, well, stuck on 16 there. Change one more modification there back to the right lens and we're good so this is your left lens this is your right lens i'm going to put it onto the tracing element in fact hang on let me back up a minute i'm cutting a line style bifocal so i need that grid and i'm going to get everything lined up perfectly i've got to be inside those little yellow lines there so i'm going to get everything centered just perfectly so the your bifocal comes out nice and level. There we go. Now, I need to attach this to your lens. This is called a, a, ch a block, or as I could say, a Jenny from the block. But I need to put a double-sided adhesive sticker on there. So I'm going to put it onto one side here. Pull the little tape away. And put this block into there. Held in place by a magnet. And then I'm going to hit that button and it's going to go down. Put the block on your right lens. Let me do the same thing now for your left lens. I'm going to get that in there where everything is nice and level and sitting where it should be. Okay. Now let me get another block. Put another sticker on there. I apologize for this being awkward and clumsy. Talking about being creatures of habit, I've used the same edger for six years. Now I've got this thing and I've got to learn a lot. So I'm nervous. I'm self-conscious about everything. Let's see. That is the left lens. That is the PD. And we're going to put that there and hit that button. That arm's going to come down and put that little sticker onto your lens. So that is your left lens. Let me take your right lens. I'm going to put it into the chuck held in place by the magnet and actually your the cutting wheel is over here on the far right that's what's going to grind away your lens material that little wheel right there with that channel that valley that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame I'm going to pull up the shape onto the computer that is the shape of your right lens this is a polycarbonate lens that bevel we're not going to polish it so I'm going to put an X there and actually this is this is polycarb isn't it yeah where's your invoice had it over here a second ago second ago where's your invoice and these are polycarbonate lenses yes yes it is set that back over there so polycarb 
polycarb and no polish we're good to go and start so the door will close the caliper will close and the other caliper or the chuck will close and then the other calipers are going to come down and it's going to trace the shape of the lens tracing the front and the back at the same time to know exactly where to place the bevel so it fits best inside the frame The gears are firing up and then your lens is going to begin cutting. Very slowly as polycarb will do. Come on, start cutting, start cutting. You'll hear it when it does. There we go. So your lenses are made out of polycarb. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. It is also virtually unbreakable. Your lens is also bulletproof up to 22 caliber and has both UVA and UVB protection built into it. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. Just seeing if the magnet picks up that. No, the little magnet there. Look, there's my little pen holder now. Do, 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 do. Is that going to work? I have a pen lens holder. How about that? Or a lens pen holder. But your lens is also aspheric, meaning I flattened it out. Not only is it thinner, but the actual curvature is much flatter. As the over the counter reading glasses you've been buying, they have spherical lenses which are round, it gives you an ugly cosmetic fishbowl appearance. This is going to fit inside the frame flat and perfect. So. But that's the nice thing about polycarb. It is virtually unbreakable. And I'm sorry for repeating myself, but it is bulletproof up to 22 caliber. So if you're mowing, weed eating, walking in the woods, a branch hits you in the face, you don't have to worry. Now, if this something broke this lens and it sliced your eye wide open, game over. Your eye will never heal. It has seven layers. Only the outer layer, the cornea, will hear. heal. All the rest will be scarred for life. You don't have to worry about it with these lenses same material that people put into the safety glasses and of course polycarb when refined even more more becomes Kevlar and that's what they put into the bulletproof jackets so it's actually done now let me put the pen down open the chuck up let me take your right lens out let me dry it off so it's not slippery and I'm going to go ahead and get it mounted into the frame. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner first and then push down with my thumbs and it snaps in perfectly, which on my old machine never happened on the 55 eye size. So let me put this in. The 52 that I wear cuts perfectly. Flip this over to left and let's go ahead and start. But I'd always have to take it down some more for the larger eye size because this has a deeper bevel. But in the last six years, technology's come a long way and they fixed that up really nice. So let me take this block off. It is no longer needed. Pull that sticker off. It is no longer needed. To dry your lens off. And now we'll go ahead and continue working on the right lens while your left lens begins cutting. I'm going to spin the axis wheel to 105 on my Marco 101 lensometer. Put that in. And I'm reading plus 150 in the top. We have one 152. It's exactly halfway between that. Now I'm gonna check your astigmatism correction, which is minus 50. So remember high school algebra, you have plus 150, you minus 50 from that. And we have plus one that is left over. So your right lens is cut perfectly. I do want to check your bifocal power, which is another 150. We're ending up with a combined power of three there. So everything is cut perfectly there. We will wait for your left lens to be ready. And in the future, should you ever need loon lenses for this frame years from now, I can send you just the lenses. I do want to keep on taking my measurements there. That's at the right height. One last measurement that I'll check when both are together, but that's looking good right there. 
Yeah, okay. But in the future, years from now, if you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can mail them right to your home. And of course, this is how you pop them in. Now take them out. You're always going to push down with your thumbs at the nose, regardless whether you're putting them in or taking them out. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put, I hold the frame with my left hand. I'm going to put my right thumb at the nose and put my fingers on the other side so the lens doesn't fall on the floor. But I put my thumb at the nose, put my other thumb on top and push down. And actually you can torque the frame. You're not going to hurt the frame as long as you do it when it's room temperature. Plastic does, you're in Lafayette, Louisiana, but I ship all over the world to some cold climax. And just don't try and pop them in and out while the frame, the plastic frame is very cold and brittle. Just make sure it's room temperature and you can torque it and nothing's going to happen. But to put the lens in, I rotate it. I have the frame perpendicular to my body and the side I'm working on closest to me. I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner closest to me. Using my thumbs, I press down at the nose and it snaps right in perfectly. So did I hear it getting quiet, which means the left lens is done. When the door opens, it is done. We're good, so I want to open up the chuck. The magnet is holding the lens in place, which is something new for me. I'm learning all this stuff. Take it out, that feels good. I want to tuck it in. I have, I've rotated so the empty side is closest to me. It is perpendicular to my body. I tuck it in at the outside corner first and using my thumbs, I press down at the nose and it snaps in perfectly. Let me do that again for you. Tuck it in at the outside corner first. Using my thumbs, I press down at the nose. It snaps right in. Again, did I mention these lenses were unbreakable? So don't you worry about ever doing this at home. I'm going to take that block off. Pull that sticker off. Check to make sure this bifocal is at the same height it is. I've got a little graph over here. Hang on while I look around. Everything's been moved around with the new lab. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? There's my graph. Hold this up to make sure that those are both level at the same height, and they are. So, check one more measurement here. Oh yeah, we're perfect, we're good, we're good. Now, one last thing I wanna do before I ship to you other than clean your lenses is get these in standard alignment. 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other. So when you get these in the mail, or if they're too loose or too tight or more realistically, one side is higher than the other. Just stop by your local optical shop and just tell them if it's high or low or if it's loose. They'll know what to do. It only takes about 30 seconds to adjust the frames. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first. The standard alignment, also known as three-point stance. One, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. I have one ear that's higher than the other. So when I press down on mine, there's definitely a wobble, but they sit level on me. I'm going to flip this over. They sit level, make sure each temple overlaps perfectly, and they do the same amount of tension on each hinge, and there is. So that's that. If anyone has any questions about what I can or can't do, which there's nothing I can't do with a pair of glasses and a prescription, once I learn the new equipment, that is. But just email me if you do have any questions at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Caroline, I thank you from Carolina, but Caroline in Lafayette, Louisiana, I hope you enjoyed watching as I made your prescription Ray-Ban bifocals clear your next pair that you contact me about will have your sunglass lenses in it but that's that and hopefully everyone else got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you